Hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is Orphan Last aka Skylar Madison and today I'm going to go ahead and start working on making a coloring book that I'll be uh, posting on my website as a product that you guys might be able to purchase down the road. Now as of right now I have been on YouTube for about four years and uh, this is the collection of images right here that I feel I can actually put into the coloring book. I, I don't have that many images after four years and I have an art-centric channel and some of the problem is just that I've focused on uh, things like animation and then I've focused on 3d modeling to some extent and these things keep holding me back uh, from doing illustration and so the first thing that I'm going to tackle is this image right here uh, I drew this uh, for artsy cosmic dreamer and first things first uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that layer I already know that I don't need it all right so uh, this is the line work for the moth character Character, and I'm just gonna kind of cue you guys in on the the workflow that I'm doing here a little bit here So the moth coloring work. I think I can just delete everything except for this moth itself So I'm going to delete these and all the layers inside of the moth layer I'm going to delete those and that should be it really and if I take this out Then you can actually see that it's just you know all by itself, which is awesome But what is that object? I think I want to delete that. I yeah, it was just an object in the wrong layer. <clears throat> As for the background, there are things in it that I do not want to get rid of because I know that this uh, pen is in there. So I'm going to, let's see, the coffee cup, I can go ahead and delete that. The pen, I do not. Okay, so delete everything up above the pen and then delete everything below the pen, maybe. Hopefully that works. Okay, so that worked out quite well. Uh, the ink shine, I don't want that. And uh, let's see, pen, pen color, I can delete that. And what is going on here? What is this object? Let's delete that, and we'll call that good for the pen. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is actually just turning off this, like uh, the moth stuff, and uh, just selecting the background, and going File, Export, Selection without Background, and exporting that, and uh, calling this uh, Artsy Background, okay? Alright, so that's been exported, so I'm going to just delete that background, and so now I just have that. So I'm going to go File, Place, Artsy Background. I'm going to open that up, place it in, put it into position inside of the scene, and now I'm going to Control, well, let's see, the, the Moth itself like the moth layer wait something's going on okay so the moth this whole moth layer I'm gonna move above the the background and this right here I'm gonna right click and rasterize it uh, and that's this right here it's the color uh, the basic silhouette of the object so I'm gonna press control click on it and that didn't work so let's go into the pixel persona control click on it okay that worked and then let's turn this off so you can see what I'm doing and go to the artsy background and pre ooh let's press control Z okay so let's uh, rasterize it it did that because um, it's kind of being treated as a smart object so now when I press delete, the uh, moth character is basically not transparent, okay? So that's really, really handy. And so there we have it. We have our first uh, image for the coloring book. However, there is something that has been bothering me for a while. I didn't really construct this very well. This, uh, And so I'm just going to delete it just so that I don't have the embarrassment and uh, all of that. But wait, one second here. Let me press Control z a, a bunch of times. Okay, so that works. Okay, so that's how it should be. And now I'm going to pre Ooh. and now I'm going to convert it to a raster and delete. Okay. And now I'm going to grab the lasso tool and delete that right there just so that I don't have the embarrassment. I just I never liked how I drew that out. It's just horrible. So yeah, now Artsy uh, can go ahead and color this image if she sh so chooses down the road and so can you. Now Artsy might feel protective about this. It's not like I'm planning on ever telling any stories with this character. So I'm not really stealing anything. She still 
can make everything that she wants with this character in this world that she's created and all of that. Uh, I drew the image for free, so it's only fair I get compensated in some sort of way. All right, so file, export. Uh, I'm gonna export it as a, as a JPEG first. Export, and instead of my coloring book file, I have delete me, that's where all of these files are. So I said JPEG first, and so this is the artsy image. And then, uh, so it's gonna go ahead and export now. And file, export as a PNG, and now I just need to go into the PNG file and save it. Now really quick here, I'm gonna go into my file browser and take a look at how it's it's exporting. Uh, not the way I wanted. Uh, let me delete that. Okay, don't export layers hidden by export persona. Okay, let's let's see if that works. Okay, so it's still having the same issue. It's a PNG. It should the the document, the thumbnail should look like a pitch black item is what it should be, and yet I'm having pro problems with that. Uh, let's take a look at here. Okay, I'm still running into the same issue. I've decided I'm just going to select these two layers. File export. This is what I normally do. Uh, selection without background PNG export okay so here it's appeared when I hover my mouse over the icon let me zoom in on the icon uh, you can actually see that there is artwork there but if I open it up all I get is a blank document that is by design that is intentional uh, so basically what this makes it so that I can do is let me go file new real quick it doesn't really matter what the dimensions are 1920 by 1080 and I just uh, click and drag this into here uh, you can see that the artwork is there but it is uh, transparent it's uh, the JPEG has the white basically permanently enclosed around the line work, which uh, might be something that people are expecting. But this makes it so that you can just uh, create a layer and you can uh, just uh, pull out a brush and uh, quickly just draw uh, right behind my line work really quick and easy. Okay, so that's the reason why it was so important that I exported that way. Okay, so let me go ahead and oops, let me just go ahead and close out of this. No, I don't want to save that and I I'm just gonna save this for just right now um, just for the heck of it and then close out of it and uh, so now I'm gonna go back into here go into my delete me file so this artsy background I can delete that now and I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call it finished okay and throw it in there and I'm pretty much gonna repeat that same process for all of these images so I'm just gonna toss in the sci-fi warrior mouse and this image is kind of disorganized but the gradient maps are really easy to identify and this is the grayscale layer so I should be able to just delete that and that actually worked out really quick and easy however the laser blast was lost somewhere along the way but I don't know there's no way that I can just I don't know I guess I could draw it in but that's not how I drew it I, I painted it in so as a coloring book I just kind of think you guys should color in the laser blast yourself uh, that's what I think you should do so I'm, I'm gonna leave it the way it is not not because I'm lazy but because I want you guys to have the same you know the same sort of creativity even though I went ahead and, and made the initial image I want you to be able to express yourself with my artwork and that's that's kind of the whole point to a coloring book really at least in my mind that's the whole point so I'm gonna go file export JPEG go into the JPEG image or JPEG file sci-fi warrior mouse that's a good name for it and file oh okay uh, flats gonna select every Everything. File, export as a PNG, selection without background, export, go into my PNG file and save it. Now I'm going to make sure that the PNG file saved it just right. And it did. Uh, just to double check, I'm going to throw it in and we can see it lines up nicely. And it also makes the line work uh, much more darker and refined. So you guys might want to consider that. Just doubling up on the line work might make it a little bit easier. But I kind of intentionally, when I painted this initially, I, I made the line work thin and um, just just so that I could have a little bit more of a grayscale painterly sort of style type look to everything. So that's that with the Sci-Fi Warrior mouse. Uh, yes, let's go ahead and save that because I I copied these. These are copies that I'm say uh, that I'm saving. And so now I'm going to throw that into the finished list. All right, the next one is the test time. I'm just 
just gonna call this one red line uh, inside of the uh, the coloring book itself. Now this, I, I kind of want to, oops, I kind of want to change, like if I change this to white, eh, it just won't work. So I'm going to kind of turn it into a type of gray, I think. And you guys can kind of figure out what to do with that and the glow effect around it. I'm going to fade it to a gray as well for the outer glow. Maybe, maybe this should be darker or brighter. I don't know. I'm going to say darker or one, one second here. Maybe give it no, no, it, it has to have something on it. I'm going to have it be slightly darker than the glow. And so this is the mascot line work. That's fine. Uh, what is this? Uh, those are those little streaks that I drew. Those are not necessary, I don't feel. And these strokes can just turn into a type of gray, I suppose, because they're not an absolute black. And then the background. I used a gradient, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to create something that's similar to what I created initially and just create a box through here and I'm going to give it a, a black and I'm going to give it a, um, a texture if I can. I forgot how to do that. Uh, that's fine. I'm just going to go like that and I think that creates the same effect that it initially had. Okay, I added noise to the image, uh, to the background, and, and that's how that's how the original background looked. And I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys how to how you're going to be doing this creatively, how you're going to work with all of this creatively. Okay, so the mascot color, I think I can just delete that. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the fill for this uh, and just give it a stroke, a really thin stroke uh, for these little glints in his eye. And I think I'm just gonna create a control point here and here and create another one right there. And uh, I'm gonna use this and break the curve right there. Select this control point, delete it. Select the control point again and delete it. And uh, I'm ever so slightly going to adjust this. And I'm gonna adjust the line thickness as well. So stroke, um, the pressure. Maybe I might actually give this a white stroke, actually. No, because when I when I convert it to a JPEG, it's not going to work uh, that way. So a control point right here, a control point right here, and a control point right here. Break selection, delete, delete. And now it's time to mess with the stroke a little bit. That's looking pretty good to me. However, there is still one problem. He is transparent. Hmm. I'm just thinking about what I can do about that. Let me press Control Z a bunch of times. Okay, we're back to having the silhouette. So, I'm just gonna start merging these objects together. Okay, so that has been accomplished. So I have the silhouette of the entire character. So now I just need to deactivate my mascot is what I need to do. And select the background here, file, export as a PNG, and I need to put it into my delete me folder, uh, test uh, red line background, all right? And then I'm just gonna delete this and red line background is right here. Just gonna throw it into the scene. This has the gradient and everything, so I can delete this gradient too, all right? Activate Activate my uh, red line, rasterize this, go into my pixel persona, control click on that, and I need to make sure that I convert my background to a raster and not as a smart object, and uh, let me turn off the silhouette and then press delete. Nope, that didn't, did it work? Yeah, it did work. It, it worked wonders, actually. That worked perfectly. All right, so now I can get rid of that, and I still have the same issue with these. Uh, like I had to press Control Z a bunch of times. So I need to fix the stuff that I was kind of focusing on earlier. Okay, so that looks pretty good. File, export, JPEG, go into my uh, JPEG file, save it, select everything. File, export, selection without background, export, PNG, red line. For some reason, it saved a JPEG here. So file, export, PNG, selection without backgrounds, export, red line, and save it. Okay, awesome. Uh, let's see how well it saved it. Okay, 
Saved it just fine. Everything like that looks exactly the way I want it. All right, there is one problem. Coloring book JPEG, rename this to red line. All right, cool beans. Uh, let's tackle this Atler image really quick here. Let's go ahead and throw this in here. All righty. Let's see what's going on here. I drew this all inside of Affinity Photo and right now I'm working with Affinity Designer. That's fine because uh, they both work on the same back end. I mean, I am limited in features that I can work with, but I'm not too worried about it. I think I'm gonna keep the Vinette or Vinay or whatever people call it. People have corrected me before. So yeah, that's the Atler image. So let me uh, file, export, PNG. Uh, let me make sure that I s select everything. File, export. PNG selection without background export okay so I am in the PNG file save let's make sure that I go into the PNG file okay I'm running into problems okay so I need to delete this I think I just have grayscale on Atler himself yep that was it problem solved file export oops need to select everything File, export, selection without background, export. I'm in the PNG file, save, and then just take a look at the file. Yeah, you, you can see that there's a few splotches here. There's some things that I wound up doing a little bit more painterly with this image, but I think you can still work with it with as a coloring book. Um, use your creativity how to get uh, past any barriers. So I'm gonna export as a JPEG, and that turned out looking pretty good. So now I am just going to just close out of this. Oops, cancel, uh, close out of this, and then move this into the finished file. I just kind of think that there might be a number of people that might want to color this image, I guess. So let's go to the gradient that's on this. Or at least I thought it was going to be a gradient. Uh, what in the world is it? Let's just change this to grayscale, I guess. All right, well, let's do a gradient ourselves here. 100% here, and this should be a bright, whoa, it needs, needs to be radial. This needs to be bright here. And these I'm just gonna have as pure white and it's actually kind of surprising how much sculpting uh, like the features of my character like if I press delete oop, like if if I uh, go into here and just uh, deactivate the coloring work like you can see just how much goes into it uh, but there are issues so I'm gonna deactivate my mascot for now and the background itself I'm gonna file ooh don't want my logo in the scene. File, export, PNG, export, coloring book, delete me, gazing is what I'm gonna call the image. Um, or dare to dream, dare to dream background, okay? And so now that I have that, I can now select these two layers and delete them and go into here and throw it into the scene. Awesome, and I just need to, with the mascot color, I need to do what I was doing with the other file and just start merging a bunch of these. Sometimes I used a different workflow to color these and I, I wish I had thought of the, the method that I always used. Um, something's not looking right. Let me press Control Z a bunch of times. Okay, so turn on the mascot layer. Why is this not looking? Why? Why is? Oh, it's because of the the background. It's okay. Now it's gonna work. So now I just need to grab these items and merge them. All right. So now I just need to rasterize this and rasterize the background layer. Go into the pixel persona. Control. What in the world just happened? Control Z. Uh, Control click this, select my background, and delete. Okay, so if I delete my mascot color, okay, this is my mascot line work. Okay, so it looks like everything worked out the way I wanted it to. So now I'm just going to file, export, let's go JPEG first. And it just occurred to me I need to have different names for these. So JPEG, the JPEG files need to have JPEG in their name, or at least I feel like they should, JPG. Okay, and now for the PNG files. All right, so now I just need to, well, I have this gradient map. Let me delete that. Okay, so, okay, export as PNG, export. Okay, awesome. Yep, let's go ahead and save that and then throw that into the finished bin. Delete that right there. All right, let's throw this into here. Even though you guys never saw me work on this. Um, all right, so I need to create a shape. And I'm just gonna give it, um, gonna give it a white 
Okay, now that I got the papers out of the way, <sighs> I think I'm gonna keep the shadows in the image, but the highlights need to go. Okay, so now, I don't know, I'm gonna get rid of the shadows after all. I really thought that I might be able to keep them, but no, and I'm gonna get rid of my logo. Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm going to deactivate the line work and the color for... Whoa. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to export this and this alone because there's only overlap between my mascot and the papers inside of this image. So I'm just going to export this. File, export. All right, cool. Well, wait a second. I don't think that was even necessary. I think I can just go into the pixel persona, right-click on this, and I already rasterized these. So I should just be able to press delete. And did it work? Yeah, it worked. Okay, so now I can delete the color work. Activate the line work. Control D. Okay, but there is a problem. I gave the papers a fill. So let me press Control Z a bunch of times, almost all the way back to the beginning. This can be pretty tedious work. Okay, so it's not, none of these are rasters quite yet. So can I select all of them and just get rid of their fill? Okay, and I can give them a complete black. Oh, there's a problem. Shoot. Okay, so I'm gonna give them a white fill once again, but I need to start doing some stuff. I need to need a control J on that and then subtract and if I deactivate this and activate it okay that worked out so okay so everything's working out pretty good now okay so now I can rasterize these and I can rasterize this color work and I can um, select these two no I can control click this select the papers and press delete and then delete the color work on my mascot. Okay, it's all working together. And now I think I can just uh, delete everything except for the sketch. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, so file, export, PNG. Okay, that looks good. And file, export as JPEG. Awesome. File, I'm in exit out. Yes, save it. And now I can go into the delete me folder, delete this and then throw this into the finished bin. All right, so just to kind of continue this forward, uh, let's go ahead and just dump in this other Atler image. I'm not really too fond of, oh, this is the wrong image. Okay, well, um, that's fine. Good thing I found out it was the wrong image. Uh, let me see if I can find it inside of my computer. Uh, let's see, this one. I, I kind of hate the way that I colored it. Like, uh, there were some weird choices. I don't know. I try to do my best every single week, but sometimes I guess I kind of fall short. So, um, with this copy, I'm just going to start. Okay, so the inks, just gonna start deleting layers. Ugh. Okay, the grayscale layer uh, has some important stuff in it. So what happens when I delete that? Okay, that's too much deleted. Okay, what about this? If I delete that, okay. Okay, so that looks like all of the line work right there. But, well, that was quick and easy. Okay, so file, export, uh, JPEG. So we go into the uh, JPEG, save it, export, PNG, go into the PNG section, and we need to make sure that the PNG section is doing good. Okay, so I did save it incorrectly after all, so file, oh, I need to select everything. <clears throat> file, export, without selection, export, all right, and let's go ahead and make sure that turned out all right. Okay, there it is, right there. Of course, we can't see it, but we can see it right there in the thumbnail. Excellent, so we go ahead and save it, put it into the delete me file, or finished file, and then the cone of vision image. I'm thinking I will delete that. This isn't my best thumbnail in terms of like things in the background, but it is what it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna delete that. Okay, and layer one. Okay, that's cool. Get rid of that, get rid of that. All right, so I have a number of layer masks. I'm gonna delete those and uh, let's see, line work. Let's see what happens when we just delete the color. Um, delete. Uh, we have an issue where uh, this effect has basically made everything really weird, uh, but now I have an issue with uh, a, a good number of my lines. So I'm going to select the line work layer and I'm just going to start kind of ramping up some of the line thickness just so that, I don't know, it, it just looks better. View, let's go to view mode, let's go split view, and right now by default it's pixel and vector here. So view, view mode, outline. Okay, so the outline should make it easier for me to select stuff. 
but okay, that's weird. All right, okay, so yeah, okay, things are working out pretty well. Okay, excellent. So there's one more thing that I need to address, and that's <clears throat> these little things right here. I am just going to desaturate those and kind of brighten them up. Uh, into just a shade of gray and I'm actually going to use the eyedropper on them. Um, actually I'm going to darken it just a touch so that it's more so like that. Use the eyedropper on it. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, there we go. I used the eyedropper on this fill and uh, that seems to be working. So now I just need to select this one and just click on that and it's immediately applied. And so that worked out pretty cool, pretty quick. File, export. Okay, we're doing PNG first, so we are in the PNG. Cone of Vision, that sounds good. PNG, uh, we have a problem here. So file, export, oh yeah, right, right. I need to make sure everything is selected. So since everything is parented to the line work, I should be able to just click line work and then file, export, PNG, yep. PNG, all right, so I don't think I ever finished exporting all the stuff for the cone of image stuff uh or image so let me export as a jpeg without background export go into the jp uh, jpeg version make sure that's looking right and it's not so let me open up affinity photo real quick and fix the issue okay that's it okay i i see what i need to do um i need to Okay, I fixed it without having to do all that crap with Affinity Photo. So one final image, and it's this guy. I don't actually think this is, yeah, this is raster. I need to make a vector version of this guy someday. Uh, so I'm gonna get rid of the background, and you guys can put whatever you want in the background, whatever suits your fancy, and that was way easy. File, export, JPEG, file, export, PNG, export, Actually, I did that wrong file, export, selection without background, export. All right, that should be it. Anyways, guys, that pretty much concludes it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys would like to get more notifications from me, feel free to join my Discord. A link to my Discord is in the video description below. If you'd like to support this channel, there's an image of my mascot in the upper right corner of the screen. It leads to my Patreon. Any support would be much appreciated. Or feel free to purchase a t-shirt in the video description below as well. If you've enjoyed this content and would like to see more, feel free to click on anything else that's appearing on the screen right now. Thank you very much for your time.